In this video, we'll balance the equation for sodium carbonate plus carbon dioxide plus water gives us a sodium hydrogen carbonate. Let's add the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have two sodiums, one plus this one here. So we have two carbons. Oxygens, we have three plus the two plus the one here. So we have six of these oxygen atoms. Then we have two hydrogens. On the product side, we have one sodium, one carbon, three oxygens, and then just one hydrogen. So as I look at these numbers here, it seems that everything on this side is just half over here. So if I were to double this, that should just balance the equation. Let's try that. We'll put a coefficient of two in front of the NaHCO3. So now we have one times two. That gives us two sodiums. And this two applies to everything here. So we have hydrogens, one times two. That gives us two hydrogens, those are balanced. Carbons, one times two, they're balanced. And then oxygens, three times two, gives us six, and we're done. This equation is balanced. Where people have problems balancing an equation like this is they count this carbon, but they forget about this one. Or they count these oxygens and forget about the oxygens here. You have to make sure you count everything in this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2CO3 plus CO2 plus H2O. Thanks for watching.